Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I'm going to be doing um, this silver holographic foil look for you today. This is my first time using foils so please bear with me if they are not perfect. Um, I've watched videos for years on how to do um, foil on top of gel polish and things like that um, so when We Hot Nails UK sent me some of this silver heart holographic uh, nail art foil I knew I had to try it out pretty much straight away so if you want to find out how I created these then just stay tuned so this is the foil that we're going to be using today it's this um, silver heart holographic I don't know if you can kind of see the actual design in the pot there um, and I've got some glue for the foil as well. And these are both from We Heart Nails UK. Then for my base and my sort of um, gel polish, I'm going to be using OPI gel colour. So I've got Lincoln Park After Dark, which is like a really dark, dark purple. Um, and I like to use it for a black because I just feel it has a little bit more warmth to it. Um, and then obviously I've got the top coat. Obviously if you're doing this on natural nails you will need a base coat as well. But as I'm just doing this on top of my acrylics um, you don't need a base coat. Then as well you will need some sort of gel cleanser. Um, obviously use whichever one um, you use with your system. So obviously I've got OPI NARS 99 which is the nail cleansing solution. So the first thing that I've done is I've just done two coats of uh, Lincoln Park After Dark and cured both of those layers. So there's no top coat on here. The tacky layer is still on there. So the first thing that we're going to do is get a lint-free wipe, some of the gel cleanser, and just wipe off the inhibition layer of that colour coat. So, and you'll see they turn matte. So, and obviously you'll be able to see on the nail if you haven't wiped away any of the inhibition layer as well. So, now we're gonna get the um, foil glue. And we're going to paint a, paint a real thin layer of the glue onto each of the nail. So and you'll see it becomes sort of like a blue colour and you'll know when the glue is fully dry because the glue will turn transparent so you won't see that blue sheen to it anymore. But just make sure that this is quite a thin coat, you don't need a lot and also make sure you don't um sort of like cap the free edge like don't go onto the free edge just do the, the the surface so whilst i'm waiting for those to dry i'm going to get my foil and cut um a little bit off that is obviously enough for all three nails so then with our bit of foil before we start to sort of stick it onto the nail i'm just going to get another lint free wipe and my gel cleanser And I'm just going to wipe over the back of the foil. This is a technique that someone's told me about, but also I have seen um, like Sarah R and Dixie Girl do this and everything like that. So it's definitely um, a technique that quite a lot of nail techs do. And all it does is it just takes off um, that sort of matte... Um, like it, in a way it's like a little film at the back of the foil and this just means that this will adhere to the nail a lot better so now you can see that my nails have gone shiny again from the glue and as you can see that there's no uh, blueness left to them they they're just nice and ready to go so then all that we're going to do is just get the foil and press onto the nail sticking it to the glue and I'm going to get a, a dry um, lint free wipe and then I'm just going to rub over the nail rubbing all of that foil into the nail just going to peel 
peel off the foil backing like that. So obviously you can see where the the paper sort of creased, um, but I'm not going to be too bothered about that. So we're just going to do exactly the same. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to top coat all of those nails, making sure to cap the free edge as well um, to make sure that we cap in all of that gel colour. And like I said, we didn't put any glue at the free edge, so that will not affect your service. So yeah, I'll be back with you. So and here is the finished look. So I'm quite pleased with these. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've done sort of full coverage foils like this. Um, so obviously I do need a bit more practice but I'm really pleased with how they turned out and I love the silver holographic over the black I just think it looks really really nice you can see all the different colours going through there so and this is just a nice um, sort of sophisticated look for, for Valentine's Day if you didn't want something red and pink or whatever but also I mean you can use this 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 foil with anything with any color it'll look fabulous on any color I just thought I'd do it on the black to kind of show you um, how it stands out so I hope that you liked this um, tutorial guys please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon bye